Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about locating percentiles under the normal curve. A percentile is a measure of relative standing. It is descriptive measure of the relationship of measurement to the rest of the data. So, for halimbawa, in a test in algebra, you get a score of 82. And you want to know how you fared in comparison with your classmates. If your teacher tells you that you're scored at the 90th percentiles, so ibig sabihin, 90% of that, uh, 90% of your classmate ay mababa sa score mo, and 10% of your classmate mas mataas sa score mo. Again, so kapag 90th percentile yung score mo, it means that 90% of the grades were lower than yours, and 10% were higher. So, pag nakikita natin sa graph, no, sa normal curve natin, so makikita nyo dito, so this is the 90% and itong hindi nakashaded yung 10%. Also, remember that when we are given the area and we wish to find the corresponding Z value, we locate the given area at the body of the table. So, gamit yung Z table natin para makuha yung area. If the exact area is not available, so kung hindi eksakto yung makuha nating area at wala doon sa Z table, we take the nearest value. So then we look up the corresponding Z value in the table of areas under the normal curve of Z table. So tatandaan. For example, having obtained a score of 85 in a recently concluded unit test in science, John wanted to know how he fared in comparison with his classmate. His teacher told him that he scored at the 90th percentile. So what is the corresponding Z-score? Z-score of 90th percentile. So tandaan natin class, kapag nilolocate natin, kapag sinabing uh, yung 90th percentile, nilolocate natin yung before or uh, bago yung 90th percentile. So, pagkukunin natin sa uh, ano sa Z table natin, yung kukunin natin yung area. So ibig sabihin, kinukuha natin yung below or before the point. Okay? So ano yung unang gagawin natin? First, split natin yung 90% or 0 0.900 into 2. Yung isa 0.5 at yung isa 0.4 kasi yung 0.5 half of the normal curve. And then yung 0.4, so makikita nga natin sa graph, so itong kalahati ng normal curve natin, that is 50%, or that is 0.5. At itong 40% natin, that is 0.4. Okay, so kapag sinam natin, that is 0.9 or 90%. So yun yung unang yung gagawin. Pangalawa, yung 0.4 na kinuha natin, so yung 0.4, in the body the Z table, if it cannot be found in the table, get the area values nearest to it. So, ipapakita ko lang yung Z table sa inyo. Then, hanapin natin yung 0.4. Okay, bakit uh, yung 0.4 lang? So, si 0.5, half of the uh, normal curve. So, ito lang yung kukunin natin para madali natin ma-identify kung ano yung corresponding Z value nito. So, class, ito yung Z table natin. So, 0.4 yung kailangan natin hanapin. So, dito tayo, malapit sa 0.4. So, 0.4032, malayo na to 0.4. Okay. So, makikita natin, class, dito sa dalawa, malapit yung 0.4. 0.3997, saka 0.4015. So, sa dalawang ito, saan mas malapit yung 0.4? So, yung dito, sa 0.3397, 3 lang yung difference. Dito, 15. So, therefore, ang pinakamalapit uh, na area sa 0.4 is yung 0.3997. So, yan yung kukunin natin, class. Okay? Again, ito yung kukunin natin, yung 0.3997. Kasi, class, wala tayong makitang exact na 0.4 dito sa uh, normal curve natin. Okay? So, therefore, the nearest value is 0 0.3997. Then, after nyan, i-identify natin yung corresponding Z-score nung 0.3997. So, paano natin makuha yung corresponding Z-score? 
So, tingin tayo sa 0.3997. Itapat natin siya dun sa left side and that is 1.2 and then yung nasa taas. So, tingin tayo sa intersection ng 0.3997. So, 1.2 dito sa left side at dito ay 0.8. So, therefore, yung z-score niya is 1.8. 28. So, the corresponding z-score is 1.28. So, ngayon, yung 90th percentile, the z-score that corresponds to 90th percentile on the normal curve is 1.28. Next, a score is in the 96th percentile. Where is the score under the normal curve? So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, split natin yung 0.50 saka 0.46. And then, so makikita nyo sa graph, no? ito yung 50% or yung 0.5 natin at yung 46% or yung 0.46. So kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, hanapin natin yung 0.46 no? sa dito, sa Z table natin. At kapag dita, wala tayong makitang exact na 0.46, kunin natin yung pinakamalapit na area sa 0.46. So tingnan natin, 0.46. 46 Okay So dito class makikita natin Ito 0.4608 Yung isa 0.4599 So ito yung dalawa Dalawang area na malapit sa 0.46 So alin sa dalawa ang mas malapit sa 0.46 Dito sa 0.4599 Isa na lang no? Isa na lang Then 0.46 na So isa lang yung difference Dito 8 yung difference So therefore ang pinakamalapit sa 0.46 is yung 0.4599. So, yun ang kukunin natin. So, the nearest value is 0.4599. And then, kunin na natin yung uh, corresponding z-score. So, punta, balikan natin, 0.4599. Tingnan natin to So, 1.7 and then 0.5. So, 1.75. So, therefore, the corresponding z-score is 1.75. That, the z-score corresponds to 90, oh, this is 96th percentile. Okay, therefore, the z-score that corresponds to 96th percentile on the normal curve is 1.75. Okay, example number 3. Find the upper 10% of the normal curve. So, upper 10%. So, kung titignan natin dun sa apat na cases, dun sa previous video lesson natin, ito ay yung pang case number 1. First, kunin muna natin yung percentage ng 10%. So, convert natin as 0.10. And after that, using the upper side of the mean, find the remaining area. Since 0.10 and then above, no, upper 10%. So, kapag titignan natin, kapag above 10% and then, di ba sa case number 1 natin, kapag ang given natin is positive, magsasubtract tayo kay 0.5. So, 0.5 minus 0.10 or 0.1, the answer is 0.4. So, ito ngayon ang hanapin natin dito. And then, uh, kagaya ng example number 1 natin, 0.40. So, the news value for that is 0.3997. So, kagaya nga na nakuha natin sa example number 1. So, ang pinakamalapit sa 0.4 is yung 0.3997. So, ito yon Okay? So, therefore, the corresponding z-score dun sa 0.3997 is 1.28. So, masasabi natin na yung upper 10% is above 1.28. For example, number 4, the result of a nationwide aptitude test in mathematics are normally distributed with an average of 80 and standard deviation of 15. What is the percentile rank of a score of 84? So, may given tayong average sa standard deviation. So, ang una natin gagawin, convert muna natin yung row score na 84 the z-score form. So, using the z-score formula, that is x minus the mean divide standard deviation. Substitute lang natin. So, yung x natin dito is 84 minus 80. So, ito yung average natin. Divide 15. 
and that is equivalent to 0.27. Si si 0.27, kunin natin yung area, no, corresponds to 0.27. So, tingnan natin dito, this 0.27, and that is 10, 0.1064. Okay? So, the area corresponds to 0.27 is 0.1064. Ito yun. And after that, no, kunin natin, Ano ba sabi dito? What is the the result of nationwide percentile of score of 84? So, since ano to, kapag sinabi kasi pinapakuha yung percentile rank, di ba? Laging below or before nung score. So, therefore, add lang natin kay 0.5. Okay? Tandaan natin ha, baka, uh, bakit sir mag point 0.5? Di ba sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, na kapag kinukuha natin yung percentile rank, ibig sabihin, nilolocate natin yung area before or uh, below nung point na yon or nung score na yon Okay? Kaya, since below 0.27 yan, ibig sabihin sa case na uh, case number 2, kapag below, tapos positive ang sign, mag-a-add tayo ng 0.5. Kaya, 0.5 plus 0.1064, the answer is 0.6064. And after that, ikukumpute na natin yung percentile rank ng score na 84. So, ang gagawin lang naman natin dyan, itong 0.6064 times lang natin kay 100 and that is 60.64%. So, therefore, the percentile rank of the score 84 in a test is 60.64. Another example, we have uh, in her class in accounting, Miss K told the students that they need a grade in the top 10% of the class to get an A in a particular test. In the standardization of the test, the mean was 70 and the standard deviation was 12. Assuming that the grades will be normally distributed, what must be the minimum grade needed to obtain an A? Okay, so kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, na split natin, yung 10%. Okay, si 10%, makukuha natin, that is 0.5 minus 10%. And that is 0.4. Okay, in-split lang natin, 10% or 0.1. And then, hanapin natin yung 0.4. So, kagaya ito ng example number 1 and 3 natin. So, ang pinakamalapit na area sa 0.4 natin is 0.3997. And after that, I-locate natin yung corresponding C-score and that is 1.28. So, pagkakuha ng 1.28, since kinukuha natin yung X dito, diba yung, kasi ang tinatanong dito, what must be the minimum grade needed to obtain an A? So, yung X value. Meron na tayong given na mean kung saan that is 70 at yung standard deviation natin and that is 12. And then yung Z-score natin, is 1.28. Okay? So, yung z-value natin is 1.28. So, ang gagawin na lang natin ngayon is substitute in the formula. So, that is 12 times 1.28 plus 70. So, ang 12 na yan, that is the standard deviation. No? 12 times 1.28 plus 70, the answer is 85.36. Or 85 na lang. Since kukunin natin yung uh, minimum grade no para maka-obtain tayo ng grade na A. So, the minimum grade to belong to the top 10% of a class and obtain a grade of A is 85. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.